Hello guys, welcome back to Pause, welcome back to Clapboard Studios, our movie studios park here in the game. So in the last couple of episodes we actually opened the park and I've reduced the park guest maximum down to a thousand as there was a bit of a few issues with um, areas where there was a lot of guests, uh, mainly this area here. Um, I think we can point up it a bit more. We've currently only got 331 in the park. Um, there's still a few guests around, so I still need to make a few enhancements. We need to put in um, a little bit of um, some janitors to sort out that. Um, there's quite a few... Oh yeah, these toilets are pretty gross. Um, there's quite a few issues in terms of uh, not enough food and that kind of thing. So that's what we're going to do in the first part of this episode. Um, then what I'm going to do is expand up towards this way. And I might even put in... Um, yeah, I might even put in a, a new flat ride or something over here, just so we get another ride over that area. Uh, more push-ups are not accessible. Ah, right. So, in the last one, there was a couple of ATMs that I closed. That, that I opened, sorry. It's these ones, part of the... Uh, part of this bank facade. I remember now. <laughs> I was really confused before. Okay, so they're closed. All right. That's that done. So, yeah, that's what we do now. Uh, let's put in some more food outlets um, and that kind of stuff. So, first of all, I think we need janitors um, because the park is a little bit disgusting. Uh, so, let's put in... Let's have a look. We need at least one here, one here, one here, one over there, one over here. And one over here. That'll do us, I think. Um, how many other employees do we currently have then? Uh, how do we have a look? How many? Right, we have no entertainers. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six janitors. Loads of vendors, which. Do we need that many? I don't know. Uh, we have one mechanic, so we could do another one of them. No security guards. Um, and I do have a, uh, I do have a staff building, but I don't think I'm going to use it. So let's put another mechanic in. Let's put in two security guards, just because you know, nice to have. But not blueprints. And then let's have. Um, let's have a couple of these guys. You can be there wandering. Um, you can head over here to the ghosty area. There we go, wonderful. Now, why are they all following each other? That's just ridiculous. So, uh, food. So, what do we have then? I thought I had enough food places. No, we don't. So, we've got a coffee shop there. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we haven't built enough food. Um, where can we fit in food? That is the question. I've been too... There's loads of benches. Um, yeah, maybe I've been a bit too thingy with food. Let's put in... Let's put in a little... Little food place over here. I know it's a bit far out of the way, but it gets people around this way. And let's do it in a kind of barn theme to match the area. So let's move some of these out of the way a second. Move you over there as well. And you can go there. Right. So, let's put in a food place. So, what do we need? Let's go for... Uh, let's go for hot dogs. That's a little bit more of a... Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to be on that grid. I want my own grid, please. Be a little bit away from the path. About there. That's good. Hot dogs. Wonderful. So, uh, let's do it, like I said, in the style of the little barn so it matches this area. So, let's go for the wood. I think that'll be nice. A little wooden shack. Um, if I can find it. Where are we? So, not that one. Or maybe that kind of wood. Possibly. 
Yeah, that'll do us. It's only going to be a little build. In fact, I don't think we need to do that big. Let's do that. There's only a little shack. Um, there. Um, we can put some kind of roofing on it, I suppose. Whether we need to, I don't know. Let's like one of them. Um, on each side so it matches. Uh, and then I think we'll just go for one of these. A bit that's in the wrong place at the back. Uh, in fact, I don't think we need that. I think we'll just have one of these instead, it's better colour. There we go. Um, we want some kind of flat roof just so it's at least covered. Might clip through, so let's do our own roof. Let's do our own with a window. Yeah, let's use that one. Okay, so once we've got this in, at least that gives us a little bit of uh, scope for food. And then, like I say, we'll probably put in a uh, flat ride over near the haunted attraction. Uh, just to give us another little ride over the other side of the park because it's in the moment it's a little bit uh, a little bit too busy around the sort of central area uh, there's not much for them to do so at least that way we'll have enough scope so there we go there is a lovely hot dog squad nobody's going to it yet which is Probably because it's quite far out of the way. But let's put a little bit of decoration on it. Alright, there we go. So that's now open. Wonderful. Like I said, I don't think people use it just yet because it's a bit far from the to come. But at least we've got that in preparation now. And it kind of fits. It's just a little bit there. It's out of the way. But it blends in with the area and that's what I want. It's just to blend nicely. The path is connected, I believe. Double check. Yeah, the path is connected, so if they want to head over there, they can. Right, so that's enough of that one. Right, let's jump over then to this side, and let's think what I want to do. I'm, I've got a feeling we can put in a little, a little flat here. People are saying they're thirsty. But again, I think I've got food and drink. Oh, there's to just toilets in here. So we could do with another little drinky place. Uh, we could put a little haunted shop here. In fact, let's do that. Similar to what we've just done, but in a, in a haunted style. Okay, that's that. Back to building. Let's sort of quickly add in the window or something in there. Like an old window. Look. That one will put in there, a bigger one. There we that one. There we go. Okay, so now at least people can't moan there's no food and drink. Whether they use it is a different story. So why are... Okay, they're all pretty unhappy. Oh, the park's all closed, that's probably why. <laughs> Let's get the park back open. Um, and cap it at a thousand. Hunger and thirst. Well, they, they could use them easily. The, 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 the option is there, they're just not taking it. Um, we could maybe do something some more around this front entrance. So what have we got in here then? Let's just double check. I think we've got pretty much one of everything in here. As well as some spare staff, which we don't need, so you can go. Oh, I like the way that they'll wait. Yes, yeah, so we've got most food in there. Uh, and I know the path works because I remember doing it. So that's that. We've got um, information booths over there. 
in here we've got uh, what we got gulpy and like a milkshakey place so that's good we've got two coffee shops over there we've just put in that drinks and then over there we've got that new hot dogs shop so in terms of food and drink it shouldn't be too bad I don't know why they're sort of saying it's really uh, as dire as it is I don't think it is it's going up slightly um, toilets again we've got toilets there toilets around here and one round there I believe unless they're getting stuck but I don't think they are right so everyone's coming in again I said I've capped it at a thousand so hopefully that should be enough um, right let's look for a flat ride I'm sure there's like a horry looking flat ride that we can have maybe something like Gears of Fear or something what does that look like see that could kind of fit if they put it in its own little area here think it would work hmm. let's flatten a bit of terrain so I want it around there There's a bit of room behind for the rock so I want to rock the work this kind of kind of in Entrance and exit pretty much at the front. Let's get you testing. It kind of fits the theme. I mean, not exactly, but I mean, kind of opposite this entrance here. So we can link it into that. Um, like I said, in terms of train, I want to have this quite quite a lot of rock work around this ride. That's what I want it to be. Like that. Like, uh, what's that ride called? Antarctica. Is it Talican or something like that where you've got like the rocks and fire and stuff? That's ideally what we're gonna go for here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump into a time lapse while I'm putting a bit of work into this. So I'll come back at the end and sort of show you what I've done with it. But that's generally the idea for today. So let's uh, jump into a time lapse.
Right, so there we go. We've got in our brand new flat ride. Uh, I still need a name for this ride, so if you've got any ideas, drop them down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, we've got this horror, well, kind of horror theme. I mean, it's got a kind of sinister feel to it, so it kind of fits in this kind of area. But we've gone for, so like I mentioned at the start, there's a, I think it's in Phantasialand or somewhere like that, there's a ride called Talikan. And it's basically one of these kind of style rides in a massive big rock theming structure with fire, water and all kinds of effects. So I've kind of took inspiration from that. Um, but we've added in some kind of lava and magma effects around the rock work around the edge. As you can just see sneaking through. And we've got some random fire blasts and other bits of uh, effects going on. So here is what it looks like uh, in the evening. So there we go. Let's get down to a better view. So this is what it looks like at night. I think it looks pretty decent. It's very minim minimally lit, and I've done that on purpose. So the fire is the sort of main focus. And we've got these little pits of lava as well around the edge. Really subtle, but the, they are there. And in terms of the queue line, again, very subtly lit through a bit of rock work and just natural terrain. Um, and... Yeah, generally, that is the ride. So, like I said, drop us down uh, any ideas you've got for names in the comments. Um, the other thing that we've done today as well is I've just done a little bit of work on this main path that takes us into this horror area. Um, I've exp I expanded it out a little bit. Um, there's still a little bit of work to do. Basically, it starts here now, uh, across this way, comes up through here. There's that gulpy shop that we made at the start of this um, this episode. Uh, there's a few little bits and pieces I need to do, like I need to tweak that slightly, uh, just to move that over. There we go. So that's that one done. And there's a random rock here, which we can probably shift out of the way. Let's move him over there a bit. There we go. It's awesome. Okay, so like I said, we've got this main pathway now. Which leads up towards the Blood Soak Manor, which is going to be the main attraction for the park, which we will finish in the next couple of episodes. One pathway up here to get to these toilets. This is the main path that takes us into the Drop Tower ride just here. And then off in the distance, just over this direction, we've got this brand new flat ride, which sort of hugs this little area of the park quite nicely and sort of caps off this corner. Now, onto this side of the park, so we're going to continue on the frontage of this house. This is going to make up the kind of front door here, which we're not going to be using. Uh, as like I say, part of the theme for this ride is going in the side entrance. Um, so yeah, the ent the main, what would be entrance to the uh, the manor house will be around here. And um, we'll do that as a, as a theming th facade for this part of the park. So this horror area is going to just make up these two attractions. With this area here, I think we'll put in a, maybe a food outlet or something over this direction, and then that will cap off the horror themed area. Um, it's got quite a long walkway just there, and that's done kind of on purpose to split out the park a little bit and get some people moving around. Um, we have got a bit of wasted space there. Uh, I might put in some kind of food or restaurant or something in this back portion. Um, but uh, I'm still open for ideas, so let me know what you think we could put in there, guys. Um, also, I need to carry on theming the side of this show building just here as well. Um, but again, we'll just expand this building further along uh, to give the impression that it's uh, maybe like a, a wood fence or something. I don't know. I haven't decided quite yet, but that will be extended eventually. So that is basically it for today's episode guys, if you've enjoyed this please give us a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and any questions, queries, comments or suggestions or name suggestions for this ride, um, please drop them down below and I'll try and answer every single one. So thank you guys ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye!